Well, this probably is one of the most fascinating places in Salisbury and certainly one of the saddest places. Um, they had a, an abandoned cotton factory up the way, which made it perfectly logical for prisoners. And it seemed to be sort of a midpoint. Now, the prison was designed to hold around 800 men, and that worked for a long time. There was enough food, there was shelter, there was enough room. That was because of prisoner cartel. The prisoners were exchanged. But in 1864, when the Yankees got real smart and decided, we've got a lot more men than you do, manpower was not a problem, uh, prisoner cartel was stopped. And that's when the prison became impossible. Very overcrowded conditions. There probably were over 10,000 men here in, um, by November of 1864. There was not enough shelter. The, wa the weather that year was absolutely terrible. When it wasn't raining, it was snowing. When the snow wasn't snowing, the wind was blowing. Sanitary conditions were just non-existent. Food was so bad that the soldiers used to talk about mouse soup as a, a way to get any kind of protein at all. Now, the prison was up this way. Um, along about four blocks this way. Some people say about 14 acres, maybe a little more. There is some indication it was larger than originally um, thought to be. This was an old cornfield back in here, and this is where the burials took place. Now, for a long time, the burials could be done in individuals because there might have been three deaths a day or 10 deaths a day. And at that point, they actually could do an individual burial. But that last winter of the war, they began to die in huge numbers and they no longer could offer them the dignity that they had had before. So back on this hill, uh, there apparently are a number of trenches. The number is iffy. Uh, magnetic imaging says there are not the 18 trenches that we originally thought. And there actually appear to be some trenches outside of the wall that was built after the war had ended. But this is the sad part. They dug trenches and filled them with dead bodies. Now the bad thing is, and I, I suppose this would be normal in any kind of desperate situation, uh, the bodies were buried bare because dead men don't need shoes, they don't need uniforms, so they would be stripped of any usable equipment and loaded up in what was called the, the uh, dead wagon which left the, the front gate of the prison, came down around here, and the bodies were thrown without any ceremony at all into those trenches. When one was finished, it would be covered and another one would be opened. You realize what was given for this country. Uh, these men are buried with no dignity at all, miles and miles away from home. They've already been through starvation, deprivation, they, they've died of terrible diseases, not necessarily of wounds, but of diseases and, and things that the crowded conditions in the prison would have been. And on top of that, a lot of these men will never be recognized because there's nothing there to prove that, that they, their remains lie there on that hill.